Honey? Yes. One. One. Two. Three. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Head to work, like always. Always going to work. Not actually waiting tables today. Today, all I do is walk food out to tables. Real exciting stuff, but my fat ass can use the walk, so I'm okay with it. And everybody has to do it. Everybody pays their dues. I'm actually on a lunch shift for once, which is kind of exciting. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a normal evening at home and, and do something on Saturday night. Do this. <laughs> so you think? Oh. I should say some sensible things or talk about my opinions on things. I guess that would be relevant. Yesterday was Veterans Day. One of the restaurants I work at, I had to work at that one yesterday, and they were giving away free meals to veterans, and I think that's fantastic. I think the least we can do for people that make sacrifices and serve our country is give them a meal. Now that you understand my entire story, and maybe at some point I will explain it, but both of my fathers served in the service. I have a lot of respect for that. I was told by one at a very early age that I would be disowned if I were ever to join, so I did not pursue that. I'm thankful for that. I think that our servicemen deal with a lot, a lot of experience that is a lot more traumatic than will ever be inclined to be aware of, honestly. I think they deal with things their entire life that the rest of us uh, would be forever changed for as well to cope with. And I think that it's important that we acknowledge that they've made a huge sacrifice and the transition back into civilian life is not easy for them. I'm aware of that. I did see a man struggle for his entire life with some things he had done while away at war and you forgive it and you think that it's not possible uh, oh, that's my dad you know it's just but they they deal with some things that uh, the rest of us don't have to and 
that's amazing. You should always remember that and always be thankful for that. They sacrifice a normal life and a lot of times they sacrifice their normal state of mind for the rest of their lives in dealing with some of the things that they deal with so you and I can have freedom, normal life. And then there's all this relativity about the questionability about the things we go to war for and as to whether or not they're really fighting for us. I, I don't always exactly agree with the reasons that we go to war, but I do think that these men and women that, that choose to defend our country are put in a position where they don't get to decide, and they do do what, uh, what they are told, and regardless, I think we should respect them for that and appreciate them. So I recently stopped into a store and came across a trinket, the tiniest bottle of ketchup. Lisa always likes things that are like miniaturized, she thinks they're adorable. She also loves ketchup. I thought it was appropriate. You see, it doesn't have to be expensive to be a good gift, you just gotta be considerate. Yeah, no people. Gotta know them. This 